Welcome to A Sparkling Moment with me, Cynthia Xingyi Chen of Cravings. Today I have a special guest on the show, my first song, and he is the beverage director of the Musket Room here in Nolita, and Dane Campbell, and I will be talking about two sparkling wines from Quartz Reef in Central Otago. Thank you, Cynthia. Both these wines were in the restaurant on your wine list, and mm -hmm. the 09 is by the bottle and the rosé right now you have it by the glass. Yes. So the cuisine, would you say it's um, based <clears throat> on New Zealand cuisine or is it just influenced by... Yeah, absolutely. And I get that question so often where people will say, what is New Zealand cuisine? And I think the best answer and the simplest way of describing it is New Zealand culture is island life. You know, they're, they're small islands. So <clears throat> just like if you were to think of Hawaii and, That's where uh, we're from. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> so th this is a very so I really easy get it. way uh, for you to think. You know, no. it's, that, it's that island way of life yes. where you have a lot of coastal influence, so there's really beautiful seafoods. Um, but then when you get a little further inland, there's um, amazing game birds and uh, okay. wild animals that um, are found in, you know, the, the hills and forests. So um, that's really what, what Chef celebrates. Uh, this currently is the, the first course of the tasting menu. So. Um, I love the idea of beginning the guest experience with, with some kiwi bubbles. Yes. And I really think that um, both these wines, but especially the Blanc de Noir. Why? <laughs> just work well with this dish. So what we have is a cauliflower velouté that's seasoned with curry oil and then garnished with raw cauliflower and a hackleback caviar and chervil. Mm -hmm. The idea of crudité um, with the raw cauliflower here I think crudité and bubbles is an always simple match, but especially with the caviar here. So what, why did you pick the rosé? I'm just curious. I think that with uh, the, the fact that this is 100% estate grown Pinot Noir from Bendigo in Central Otago, you get that, that wild herb, sort of savory-like um, nature to what the What about wine. all the red fruits in it? Uh, yeah, I think that with the red fruits, it's more uh, kind of like apple skin and uh, tart cranberry-like notes okay. that work with the curry in, in the soup. Um, but even more so than that, Rudy, you know, like we mentioned earlier, is a very passionate natural winemaker. So being that he's he's following that biodynamic uh, way of farming, the the wine has that that sort of uh, living, breathing, uh, natural breath to it that. Uh, you know, it just really works well with the soup and, and really begins the experience in, in the best sort of way. Okay, we're gonna try it. Yes, and see what. Mm -mm. Give me some, <laughs> some feedback. So, am I taking this and you're taking that? Or yeah, that, that, that sounds good. Okay, cool. Do it like this. Chef just replanted his garden, so uh, we have some fresh garden chervil. On, on mm, the that's soup really there. yummy. 